guys, welcome back to Outs Mountain. Uh, last night we probably had five inches of snow come down and we're about to cut our way back up the driveway and back up our road and uh, see what's going on, so stay with us. So we are here on the driveway and it is just a beautiful sight. Everywhere you look it's like a winter wonderland. You can see a little bit of the gravel but overall we probably got somewhere between five and six inches of snow last night but it is just beautiful. One of my favorite sights for their beauty is these trees that are just every branch is snow covered of course it's not ideal for getting up the road but we prefer to just kind of shake these limbs off instead of cutting each and every one of these trees we try to shake the snow off of these branches and let the tree restore itself rather than cut each one of these down to clear the road and as you saw these snap back pretty quick after Jason has shaken some of the snow off of them. These pine trees have this heavy wet snow on them and they are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, you can see how bent over, how heavy that snow is and how bent over these trees are. They're very beautiful. They're a nightmare for the power company though. We lost our power this morning, I guess about 5 a.m. So it'll probably get a little chilly in the house before they have a chance to get out to us. But um, Sevier County Electric System always does a great job getting our power restored. And they are some of the nicest people. Let's see how much snow we got. How much you guess? Five? Six? I'll guess five. Alright, let's see. Uh, that's a good six inches right there. It's a big snowstorm. It's all wet snow too. Heavy wet snow. So we're out of power. Somewhere the power lines went down and we don't have power this morning. I think half of Sevier County is out of power. Here's this very large tree that's down. We originally thought it's down on the power line, but I think it's actually on the phone line. So it looks like we have a tree that has uprooted over here off the side of the side of the hill, and it's a pretty tall tree. Um, it looks like the top of it is here in the road, so we're gonna go down here.
We've got another little snag that's in the road. It's not taking up the whole road, but it is sticking out in the path where our car's traveling. Over here, that is just pretty soft ground, and we would hate to roll off down there in the creek, in the ravine. Um, had that happen one time. We had firefighters up here fighting a fire, and they got a little too close to that edge and rolled a tanker right there. So I'm always aware of that soft edge, so we, we need to get this one cleared so people don't misjudge the road. So we're down here. This tree is actually kind of across my neighbor's driveway, but we're gonna cut that out of the way for him. So when he comes down, he isn't greeted with this so this is another tree that's down on our neighbor's property. We're going to walk up here, take a peek, see if we can clear this out of the way for him. It's time to pack it up and head back to the house. since about five o'clock this morning with all the snow, the heavy wet snow on the trees, it brought down several trees and the power lines are down throughout the area. So it may be a while before the power comes back on, but those guys work very quickly to restore it. But with so many outages, it's hard to, hard to get to us, especially because we live in a pretty remote area. So we're just gonna enjoy this fire. It's gonna keep the house pretty warm. Um, luckily we do have this indoor fireplace that we can use to burn wood in. Like we've said before, we have the outdoor wood stove. And unfortunately, we had not had it running in a few days, actually probably in a week or so, because it's been so warm here in East Tennessee. It's been in the 60s and been in the 70s. And so we had let that fire go out. And usually it takes a little bit of time to kind of establish heat coming from the outdoor wood stove. And like we say, we're going to do a video on that on that pretty soon, but we didn't have it running and weren't really expecting to need it. You know, when it's 60s and 70s one day, you absolutely do not expect to have six inches of snow on the ground the next day. But like I say, we're staying pretty warm by this fire. Love the, the beauty outside and also the beauty inside of this fire. And hopefully they'll have our power back on pretty soon. But if not, we are blessed to have this to keep us warm. Right now, it's about 65 degrees in the house. It's about 34 degrees outside but we are staying nice and toasty for the moment and hopefully that will continue.